What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Obviously in the last video we were talking about Raylene Castle resigning from Rugby Australia as chief executive and I was going through the comments and a lot of people are quite happy. Um, not many negatives or not many like saying oh, what a pity type thing. It's pretty much I think everyone's on the same page thinking it was the right decision. One thing that a few people have said it wasn't an easy job for her to come into um, Australia was in the state when she came in, but obviously um, nothing much has changed since and it's got worse and worse. So for me, I think this is a, a, it's a positive thing for Rugby Australia in order to regroup, restructure and get things back to where it was in the past. But a few comments have also said, and I've watched this on social media and Facebook and now on this channel with the comments, a few have said, is it time for the return of Israel Folau? Now, obviously, Israel was banned from Rugby Australia um, due to the comments made last year, and um, therefore his provincial international career came to an end. He went on the big legal battle, which he clearly won, which pretty much set Australia in the $9.7 million debt um, before this pandemic really took over. So a lot of people are still in favour of Israel saying, should he come back and given a chance now that she's gone, they weren't impressed with the way she handled. And I'm not saying everyone, just a few people. So I think it's like, I don't know, if, if you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. But people are saying she could have handled this better. And now that she's gone, bring in Israel Folau back. Now, I don't agree with what he did. But obviously, the man is one of the greatest fullbacks Australia has ever seen and definitely one of the top in the world. Having said that, last year, he was tied with Dan Carter as one of the most, the highest paid, I think it was the year before, 2018, the highest paid rugby player in world rugby. Now, with the current situation, the world of rugby is facing with financial crisis because there's no sport currently be played. I do not think Rugby Australia can actually afford him, whether he, one, will want to come back, two, if us Rugby Australia will even take him back, even under a new uh, administration and leadership board. So it, it, I, I just don't see it happening. He's now in Rugby League and I think he's doing pretty well there. Um, but um, obviously this this topic would have definitely been brought up as if he should return back to Union. But um, I think he's doing pretty well in um, Rugby League and I think he will stay there. Um, a lot of drama and chaos was caused during this incident and um, I think he will want to forget and I think he's probably closed that door on the path of a Rugby Union and won't want to uh, quite come back from that. I think if he did, um, I think he would be just as good. I don't think his play figure would have would have died down. Um, you know, whatever people's different beliefs are, whether they agree or disagree with what he said, um, you can't take away the brilliance of this man and what he played. He was nearly in everyone's world team when we did our teams at the end of the year. Um, in your Super Rugby team, he was always in your Super Rugby team of the year. Because of what this man bought, not only was he just good at his speed, he was a good defender, he was a good side um, stepper, he, he just really had all-round talent. And he was a big chap too, so not many could get past, past him, and uh, not many could tackle him, which is why he did so well for the nation. And when he obviously stopped playing, you could see that miss um, that Australia had at last, especially in the Rugby World Cup, and the impact that Israel would have had would have been massive. And unfortunately, it was just adding on to the disasters and the situations of negativity that Rugby Australia was going through. So for me personally, as an outsider, I'm not an Australian. I am not a, a whiz as to what's going on there. So Australian public, please comment down below your thoughts. I, for one, personally don't think it will be a good decision um it's going to cause chaos again um it is going to just bring back a, a lot a lot of drama whether you d agree or disagree those in agreement will cause um drama defending him and those who are against him are going to cause even more drama so 
that's number two. And number three, I just don't think Rugby Australia can can afford to have a guy like Israel Folau in the team, especially when he was tied one of the top paid players in 2018. So I just don't see it happening, especially with the current situation we're in and the current death flow that Australia are going to be in after the year of 20, 2020. So it's, it's, it's a topic that I think everyone would want him back from a playing point of view and for Australian rugby's growth and comeback. But um, I think that door is closed and he will probably himself want to continue um, playing rugby league and will probably continue doing well over there and grow and develop even more. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Should this be the return of Israel Falau or should it not? Obviously you've heard my thoughts, but let me know yours in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.